Yo, what's going on? Sean Murphy here. This is going to be a pretty quick video. I just finished actually uh, week six of the conjugate program that I'm attempting to do for my strongman uh, training. Really combining strongman and then just building my athleticism back up. So I'm, I'm playing around with strongman implements, uh, sprints, all kinds of just agility type, type of stuff like, like sprints and jumps and throwing and all that kind of stuff just to build my athleticism back up. And I'm telling you that things are progressing nicely. Now, the reason I'm shooting this video is because I have learned some lessons along the way. I'm not working with a conjugate uh, coach, so everything that I'm learning, I'm learning off of YouTube. So I am picking up tips and tricks from the best out there on YouTube. Matt Winning, I gotta give you a shout out because I'm learning a lot from you. Zach Evanesh, always implementing strategies that you have always taught me, my man. And uh, there's others out there that I'm just kind of having a brain fart. So I'll tag some of those YouTube channels here in the description below if you guys want to follow these guys because the content they put out is just, <laughs> it's legit fire, okay? But I wanted to do this quick video of just a quick recap of what I've learned personally by starting to implement the conjugate method into my own training. And so what I'm doing each week just as a quick overview. So I am following kind of the West Side protocol of this where it's like the two max effort days and then the two dynamic effort days. Now I will tell you, I kind of switch it up that in ways that it'll fit better in my schedule. My day one actually starts on Thursday. So week one, day one is Thursday and then it moves to Saturday and then Monday and Tuesday. So my heavy days are Thursdays and Saturdays and then my speed days are Mondays and Tuesdays. And that's just what works for me and my schedule. I just could not do the heavy days at the beginning of the week because of my schedule and conflicts and I have more time at the end of the week to fit in that training. So what's really cool about the conjugate method guys is that you can really make it your own. This is a thinking man strategy. It is a thinking man's game. So it's probably not really wise for the brand newbie underneath the barbell, you know, doing something like linear progression is probably going to be the best uh, training protocol for you. But, you know, this is just something that I wanted to put together for myself. This is something I just wanted to, you know, challenge myself with and just really say, you know, I've had a lot of these excuses up here floating around like I can't add sprints to my workout. I can't add jumps to my workout. I can't add such and such to my workout. Well, I wanted to break that mindset by actually putting it into my workout. So, <laughs> so if you're anything like me and you got to just kind of break that mold, Try on this conjugate method, guys. But at any rate, going back to my training protocol, again, following those four-day splits of the, uh, uh, the Thursday, Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday. Now, I will say that the, the max effort lower bodies have been going wrong perfectly. What I'm doing is I'm finding a three rep max for the day, and I'm alternating the week. So if one week, if I'm doing a deadlift variation, the following week, I'll do a squat variation. Or I might even, because I'm doing strongman, I'll do a heavy carry variation, such as the yoke or farmer handles. Um, and then also within that same week is I'll flip flop between an overhead press as well as the bench press. Again, some type of variation thereof. And because the strongman, again, I'm throwing in like Viking press, I'm throwing in uh, the axle bar, I'm throwing in the log, things of that nature. So I'm doing some type of variation of each lift without it just being the standard quo, like bench press, squat, deadlift, you know, that kind of thing, which is what Westside actually dictates. It's like, you know, do a different variation. Don't do the competition lift every week, if that makes sense. So if you haven't studied up on conjugate, I'm not gonna go into the whole, the whole scheme of things because Westside has put out more than enough information to, to follow on that. <laughs> <laughs> is my max effort days have been going along smoothly. So first I'll find a three rep max. And then from there, once I find that three rep, three rep max for the day, I'll use that same lift and then I'll scale it back to 80% and then I'll get rep work in. The first set is an all out set, just going for as many reps as possible. And then two more sets of five. And I am finding that every single workout, I'm able to get at least a minimum of five reps for all sets. And um, on some of those workouts with the all out sets, I'm getting sometimes seven, eight, even up towards 10 reps. So I really found my sweet spot with the max effort days. Those are going along beautifully. Um, and also on those max effort days, when I'm doing the accessory work, sometimes it's like it's bodybuilding. Like if let's say I just finished with lower body, I might just do some bodybuilding style stuff uh, for the lower body that day. Or I'm putting in like more of strongman conditioning. And it's just how I feel for today. I'm making sure that I don't miss anything. Like if one uh, day of the week, like on a lighter day, I did more of the bodybuilding style than on the heavy day, then I am going to get more of the strongman. I'm trying to mix it up so I don't leave any stone unturned, if you will. And I'll do the same thing for the upper body body days as well. So that's how I'm mixing in kind of my accessory work and getting my speed work in with the, with the strongman stuff and just not leaving anything out. But it is 
it goes along like how I'm feeling for today and what I'm really driven to do. And the days that I feel really driven, by the way, the days that I'm feeling like really pumped up and amped up, I'll put more work in. And then other days I might scale back just a little bit just to kind of uh, leave the energy reserved and tank for the next day. If I'm not just feeling it all together and I just don't have everything to give for that day, I don't beat myself up over it. Um, I used to do that. I don't do that anymore. But I still do the bare minimum for today. So I get my core lifts in no matter what for today. And I don't skip my workouts. I did skip one workout, which was a uh, dynamic effort day, which I'm going to cover how that breaks down for me as well. But the dy dynamic effort day, I missed a Monday. I'll let Monday win. And then I doubled up on Tuesday. So I did a full body speed workout. And I got to tell you, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. However, whew, it was a long workout. It really took, a, it took everything mentally for me to get through it. Uh, but physically, it really wasn't that bad. But I still like to get the four days in. Um, it just does better for, you know, it just does better for my mentality. It does obviously better for the overall protocol, everything like that. But if you have to double up on a workout, you can do it. I did it. You could do it too, okay? So let's talk about those dynamic effort days because this is where the bands come into play. And I got to tell you, like, I'm still playing with those dynamic effort days. Um, on lower body days, I have found that I have found my right band tension, and I have found that following the protocol of 40%, um, each week taking up 5%. So I'll go to, from 40 to 45, 50, 55, 60 to 65% being my top as far as the weight on the bar and then adding that uh, banded resistance. I found that with lower body, I have no problem because I'm actually adding stuff to it. So I'll hit like my three squats and then I'll take off to a sprint or I'll do my three squats and then hit three box jumps. And then same thing with deadlifts is I'll hit, you know, a triple jump and two, three deadlifts. And by the way, when it comes to that, I'm doing each minute on the minute. So I'm hitting three reps hit the explosive movement to go along with it as well and then i get my rest time so each minute on a minute um, i'm doing nine sets of three reps for everything on there now as the weights went up say on the squats like i only do like one sprint lap or i'll only do one box jump but i'm still getting three reps with those mat or with those dynamic effort days on lower body so that has been going very well i'm happy with the weight i'm going to continue with the 40 all the way up to 65 percent percentages for the lower body however upper body proved to be a much bigger challenge in the beginning when i was in the 40s 50 when i was in the 40s and even 50 percentiles i was able to add say like uh clap push-ups or plyometric push-ups into the bench work that i was doing um i was able to do, add like ball slams you know things like that but as the percentages started to get up like once i started getting to the 55 percent 60 and then in 65 like i had to take all that explosive work out and just focus on the main lift that i was focused on and my two lifts for the upper body speed days is an axle clean and press banded and then the uh and then i'll just do the bench press again nine sets of three and again you know in the beginning i was doing the uh the, the explosive work along with it whether that was a plyometric push-up or whether that was a ball slam or something of that nature sometimes it was burpees but again when those percentages started going up with the 55 to 60 65 it was just enough for me to keep up with just the lift itself so i had to take that extra conditioning out that extra explosive work out so what I'm planning on doing in the next six six month wave is lower body, I'm gonna keep the status quo because that's working out beautifully for me. But with the upper body, I'm gonna scale back that dynamic effort. I'm gonna start at 30%. So I'm gonna go 30 to 35, 40 to 45, and then 50 to 55 being my max. I'm not gonna do a 60 or 65% um, percent weight on the bar from upper body days. And I'm gonna see how that unfolds, see if I can keep up my explosive see I can keep up my athleticism and my training to keep that going. So that's it. Like I'm super pumped. Like this has been an amazing uh, first six weeks of implemented conjugate method. To, again, I'm building up my strength. I'm building up my, fat, my athleticism. I'm also dropping some weight. I'm, I'm seeing the shape come back. So I'm really happy with this program. If you like the full thing, that I'm doing here, just feel free to reach out to me. I got all my contact information everywhere on this YouTube page. Like click the links up in the banner or uh, read the description here below. Just connect with me, uh, mention that you uh, saw this video. And by the way, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell because on this channel is we're building stronger men through their faith and their fitness. So I'm gonna give you fitness tips on this channel. I've been talking a lot more on the face side, but I will include some more of my own training and helping you guys out, uh, build your strength, build your fitness, and things of that nature as well. Just giving you tips, giving you tricks, all that kind of good stuff. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell because I just dropped this stuff. 
Um, I don't really have a set schedule. I just drop these videos. So if you don't want to miss a thing, make sure that you do all that YouTube fancy stuff, all right? So, but I appreciate you watching this thing. Hey, like I said, if you want a copy of what exactly what I'm doing, just reach out to me. I'll be happy to just say, here, here's the PDF that I'm following. So appreciate you watching the video. Let me know in the comments what kind of training you're doing. Let me know in the comments what kind of goals you're, you got for yourself. And let me know if this video helped you out today. Peace, love, and strength. Get something done. I'll see you in the next video.